I think there's a real spectrum when you ask people. There's a spectrum from people who really don't care um, because they just want everything for free and they don't really care what they see, through to people who are very jealous of their privacy and um, delete all of their cookies and really don't want to take part in that kind of system. But I think wherever you are across that spectrum, what's really important for brands is to be honest and open about the kind of value exchange. This is what we as a brand are giving you as a consumer. Do you want it or don't you? This is what we expect from you. So I think that honesty is really important. Do people really understand the freemium model that they are getting a service for nothing and that as a result the trade-off is all of their privacy? Or is it just early days where there might be more of an awareness over time? There is, and then there is a pushback even by those who don't care at this point. Yeah, I, I, I don't think a lot of people really understand what data is collected about them. And from that point of view, I think GDPR is a great thing. I mean, it's caused a lot of issues for companies, but I think it's a great thing because it forces everyone to actually examine what they're doing and to be much more honest and open and to allow consumers into that tent. We were just talking about how far you can take the targeted marketing and we're just early days because the capabilities with technology now are just extraordinary about television advertising that might be able to show us the same program, target you in one room, target me in another yep. to in-store experiences where a marketer can see how long I spend looking at say a jewellery item before I move on to a cosmetic item. They can see the reactions in my face before they then go on to target me with very specific products. How far can this go? Well, I think the technology is not the issue. The issue is actually the honesty and the trust that people need to have in, in brands. So if you go back years and years and years, if you went into a car dealership, a really good dealer would know how to approach you differently from how they approach me and how they approach someone else based on how we came in. And so people have been able to target before. It's just that technology allows you to do that at scale now. Um, with great speed and, and we need to be guardians of that technology. A moment ago with Richard Edelman we, we touched on the, the power of brands and, and brands for purpose having to be more than just uh, a way to sell services and sell product. You've got to actually take leadership on a bunch of different social issues now. What do you make of, of the role that brands now have in 2018 and whether that does anything for the way consumers feel about the brand loyalty? Well, it's not just about consumers. As employees we all want to work for companies that we believe in. We all to want to work for companies that we think are doing the right things and are doing good for society. We want to work for companies who take inclusion and diversity really seriously at their core. So it's not just a consumer issue, it's for, for companies to survive, they have to be ethical. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.